Paul, we're here at Luff Engineering. Um, you've recently installed this Grob G350 horizontal five axis pallet changing uh, machining center. Quite some installation. Um, when you take this company as general subcontractor, is this quite common now for these machines to be sited in places like this? Well, we're certainly grown as a company, Paul, and we're definitely trying to tap into new markets. Grub is one of the machine tool world's best kept secrets. Obviously, we're from a very strong automotive heritage, um, but we are now opening more doors in medical, um, oil and gas, food industry. So, yeah, we're definitely and, looking to do that. And even a company like this, gen general subcon, you know, different work coming in day to day, different materials, cast iron, some horrible. Uh, materials yeah, yeah. to be machined as well. I want to kind of split this interview into, into two areas. The first thing is I want to show our audience that these machines are affordable to them because like Jason I spoke to earlier, you know, be before you came in he'd, he'd seen grobs on our channel and he just thought, you know, that's out of my league. But it's not the case, is it now? How affordable are these machines and how, how did this fit into Jason's commercial requirements? Well, that, that's one of the perceptions that people have about Grub is that they're, you know, they are very high technology, they are advanced machines, but people think that they carry a huge price tag. We have uh, a number of machines that are affordable to people, and we also have some ex-demo machines such as this one, which can really surprise you on the price. Um, because, I mean, yeah, I would have, before we started working with Grub, I was of the same opinion. You know, in fact, I'd seen videos of the factory, you've got one of the the world's biggest um, machine tool building factories, I believe, in Germany. And when yeah. you see how, how that operates, it really is quite mind-blowing. And then you see the level of dynamicness of the machines, and you might, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't be wrong to suggest that you might think they are out of your league. Let's talk about those advancements in technology and how this machine is set up here, because this is a horizontal spindle, a five-axis machine. What are the advantages to Jason compared to a, a different kind of configuration or a more standard five axis machine that you might see? Well, it's purely in the horizontal spindle. Obviously the machine spindle sits in what we call the tunnel. So it's, it's fully supported at all times, giving a lot more stability to deep heavy cut machining. Okay, but what about then the, the fact that the table goes upside down as well in combination with that? Where are the wins for a, for a guy like Jason here? For well, something like Jason that doesn't really know what's coming through the door, obviously sometimes having that flexibility with the table being able to go inverted will allow him to, gravity is your friend, so the swarf constantly falls away. It will extend his tool life, which obviously can be a burden on the business, um, and also give him a better quality of finish. Another point he mentioned as well is about the pallet system. He wanted the pallet changer so he can keep the, the spindle running. I was quite amazed at how small the whole machine was with that with that pallet system. Um, that must be attractive to people, certainly like Jason here, where he is limited for floor space. Yeah, I mean, obviously with this machine, I think it's around just over five meters in length by just over two meters in width. Um, obviously, as you know, Grub produce many different variations of automation systems as well. We have linear pallet systems, we have rotary pallet systems, as well as the single pallet machines. And when I looked at this as machine today as well I looked at it and thought normally things like tool changes are exposed things like certain areas of the machine you, you can you can see but you can't hear with this it's all it's all fully enclosed I look at that in two ways is there a risk of contamination or is there a division between the areas within the machine that eliminate those things too uh, every, everything is, is protected we have what we call a wet and dry side to the machine so the wet side is obviously all your hydraulics and coolant systems, the dry side being all your electronics. The machine is a one piece, one lift, and that includes all the swarf and the coolant systems as well. So installation is very easy, it's very quick, um, and it all comes in as one lump. Um, and when Jason purchased this, it came with 80 bar through spindle coolant, yep. it came with um, you know some uh, filtration solutions for his cast iron. There's quite a lot of options with the machine that he had as standard is is that something that that you're quite keen to push with these machines if you've got quite a, a high performance machine you want the, the added value that goes with it as well don't you yeah obviously we have a a checklist on the machine the, the standard machine comes off the shelf very well spec but there's there's certain levels that we can improve on the machine generally these x demo machines that we we have available um, we have different control systems we have different options i.e pallets um, spindle speeds, 
all, all sorts of different options. So there's plenty of Jasons out there in the market, plenty of machine shops like this. Yeah, um, absolutely. What would be your message, Paul, from yourself and from Grob? To the, the message from Grob really is, you know, get in touch. Let, let us see what we can do. We, we have machines available. We can make deals. Talk to us. Thank you.